It's a big time problem in the West Valley and across the state. Not enough water to meet the demand of developers. The big question tonight is what can be done about it? The city of Buckeye is one of the fastest growing communities in the state with new homes going up all over the place. But there are growing concerns there may not be enough water to keep up with the new developments. The fact is that if we continue down the path we're continuing on, the aquifers are going to dry up. Governor Hobbs sounded the alarm back in January during her State of the State address, releasing a report that said the West Valley's water supply is running low. We've overcommitted water, uh, and so it, it's a big issue, and, um, and, and there's no easy answers to solving it. Creating the opportunities for the water. Today, Arizona's family sat down with Buckeye Mayor Eric Orsburn, who wasted no time calming fears that his city is facing a water crisis. We're not in crisis mode here. Uh, actually, we are, uh, our, our water future is secure and we're not in danger. According to state law, developers are not allowed to build subdivisions on land if they don't have enough groundwater for 100 years. As a result, cities like Buckeye have been working to find other water supplies to keep the growth going. The message that we're trying to get out is uh, that we're bolstering our uh, water portfolio to prepare for that growth that's coming forward, as well as working with the development community to bring in new uh, water resources. The governor recently created a water policy council devoted entirely to protecting our groundwater and finding new resources. How quickly solutions can be found to keep Arizona growing could take a while to sort out. In the West Valley, Jason Berry for Arizona's family.